What's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a great day. It's a little quick update on my life. I just had a baby about a few weeks ago. My life's been my life's been great ever since. It's a beautiful blessing. I couldn't ask for nothing more. So in this video, we are doing a five on top mid drop fade. I feel like all my cuts are mid drop fades. If you guys want me to do any other videos, any other type of haircuts, let me know in the comment section below. Hey, we're doing on my brother. He might look like me. Some people will say he does. Some people say he doesn't. Whatever. In my last video, I did talk about that I was going to be doing a giveaway. I still am going to be doing a giveaway. It's just the matter of time of when I'm going to be doing the giveaways. If you guys want a chance to win the giveaway, please follow me on my Instagram. Comment giveaway in this video right here. You guys will be entered into the giveaway. I'll probably be doing it within my next few videos. I have tons of stuff, so it's going to be a winner per video. So again, if you guys want to win the giveaway, put giveaway in the comment section below. And that's how I know that you were entered. With that being said, you guys, I appreciate you guys for watching my videos. If it wasn't for y'all, I want to keep doing this, man. I want to help you guys out as much as possible. Love y'all. Keep supporting. Again, comment giveaway in the comment section below. We are out, y'all. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Take care. What's going on, YouTube? How's everybody doing today? Afternoon, night, whatever time you are watching this. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a great day day night afternoon let's get this video started hope you guys like it make sure you comb the client's hair before you cut it um make sure that it's all laid down evenly and everything so we're doing a five against the grain make sure that you cut it all the way even even though you have to keep going over and over again um this uh this client might look a little familiar he kind of looks like me it's my little brother right there y'all so i've been cutting him since i've started so i know his hair like the back of my hand again so make sure that you go you guys are going against the grain make sure you guys cut it all evenly so you got to just keep going over the head over and over and over until there's no hair that is sticking up so again make sure you comb the hair before you cut it and just chop away So now we're on the balding process. So use your balders, trimmers, liners, whatever you use to trim out the hair or bald the hair. Um, I'm using my baby's liners. I like these ones a lot because they get close to the skin without being too sharp on my client's heads. Uh, make sure that you use uh, liners accordingly to the, the way your client's head is sensitive, you know. Uh, some people like using sharp sharp liners. I don't agree with that. I just use something that is kind of friendly to you know my clients you know skin. So make sure that the ball line is straight because so that way when you do your guideline, your guideline will be straight. And then when I always say is straight guideline means a straight fade. And uh, you just don't want everything uneven, so it, it kind of helps you in a way doing it that way. So we are on to the open lever first step of the guy line. I'm using my Andes Masters. I do have a fade blade on this clipper. Um, the fade blade is, if you guys don't know, with the Andes Master, they came out with a fade blade back in the day. It makes it, it makes the, um, the, the, the blade is basically flat and it makes it so much easier to take out ball lines. But if you guys do, don't have access to a fade blade, I mean, any other blade works just perfectly with it. You can use your Masters, you can use the um 
the low not the low pros the stylecraft uh clippers i'm not too sure what they're called um anyways yeah any other clipper would do fine you know i just i just have these clippers adjusted to weigh my liking um so yeah it, don't, don't get confused it's just the same as any other clipper it's just for me it just makes it so much easier to take out the bald line so we're gonna be closing that thing up right here to take out the bottom line right there we have the lever close again close and then we play with the lever uh, accordingly to the hair how it's um, you know blending so we close it and then you, you want to lighten it up you open it just halfway to the halfway lever and then you open it i like to play with my levers a lot i kind of want it to you know you want the light to dark contrast so and you don't want to go past that line that we made with an over lever open lever so that's a pretty simple way of doing it uh, play with your lever a lot just make sure that um, you take out any dark spots necessary use the corners of your blades and um, my brother's hair is kind of growing at an angle kind of grow, grows like away if, in, in, a, in a sense so um, you always want to cut against the hair pattern of you know the client that you're cutting so again play with the lever halfway open try not to make any hard lines use corners and if you guys have any other questions comment down below i hope my videos are useful for you guys i try to make it as simple as possible for the new beginners because uh i know how it is is you know the beginning how to cut hair so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below next step we are going to be using our wall magic clips i use these in mostly all my videos so we're going to have the number one guard and we're going to make another guy line about like a finger's width uh, i'm not flipping you off guys it's just a finger's width i'm just trying to show you like what a finger's width is so do it about like a finger's width make sure you follow the same steps as before um make sure that the guy line is straight and when we get into the fading process i'll let you guys know my techniques and everything Now we're done, we're making our first guy line or second guy line, mistaken second guy line. We're gonna be using our zero guard to take out that guy line that we made with the number one. So I'm opening it up, I have my lever open just a tad to see what the, the, the guard does with the hair. Close it up, halfway open, play with the lever a lot. The same steps as before to take out that bald line. You wanna use the corners, you wanna cut against the grain because I'm, as you see that I'm cutting at an angle because my brother's hair is growing kind of away from his head right there. So again, same steps, play with the levers. Try not to make a too hard of a line. So what I'm doing is I'm flicking out with my corners and I like using my corners a lot. So when you use the full blade, I feel like you make lines that that don't need to be there you know if you use the corner of the blade you're like using it just to pick out certain hairs so use it like a um like you're a pencil or an eraser if you want to erase a certain part of the area you got to use the corner of the eraser to take out you know anything that you're drawing or etc i don't know if that makes sense for you guys i'm sorry if it doesn't i'm just trying to give you a you know something you know <laughs> but yeah again use the corners make sure you don't make any hard lines flick out a lot always brush the hair i'm not doing it right here but make sure you brush the hair down and uh because it clears out your canvas and uh yeah take out any dark spots necessary okay on to the tricky part i'm using my clipper comb my brother wants his hair kind of flared out I'm using my comb. You see the hair that's poking out right there? That's the hair you're gonna chop away. I'm using it basically like a guard, okay? It's just a faster way of fading. It saves so much time when you use it. It is an advanced technique. I didn't get it down for until like my fifth year of cutting hair. So if you guys know how to do it, that's great. If you guys don't, just don't don't be discouraged, guys. Do not be discouraged to use it. Um, it is a very advanced technique. I've, you know, I've patch somebody so many times uh not so many times but a few times in barber school and um 
you don't want to do that so he's got to be very careful he wants his hair kind of round flared out he, he's kind of getting like a mid drop fade i'm not trying to make the blend stretch all too much so whatever hair you see that's poking out you just clip up like that or you can go from the side angle um, the side angle i usually do that just so i can make the hair um the shape perfectly and then when i do the upwards technique like what i'm doing right here it kind of just clips the hair that i'm just trying to blend in so i'm using it like a guard and then i'm also using it from the side to um, shape it perfectly so that there's no hair sticking out So we are going to be lining up my brother's hair his hair is hanging over he don't want that so i'm going to be using my clipper comb again to kind of just take away the hair that is hanging over you're just using it like a, a guard again you're just basically doing the same way as you're doing the clipper comb don't dig into it because you, you know it'll make it at an angle and you don't want it so i'm just using it basically to make his hairline kind of straight or not the hangover i don't want the hanging over so so my brother does have a pretty bad widow's peak right there so i'm just letting you guys know that you guys are gonna run into people with widow's peaks you gotta do what's necessary you gotta you know talk to your client before cutting their hair say hey look you have a widow's peak this and that client consultation that's the best thing you can do as a barber you know you have to deal with a lot of people and uh trust me you're gonna have to deal with people with, with widow's peaks and people that don't like getting pushed back and this and that so um yeah this barber game is kind of you know it has its ups and downs when it comes to client consultation. So I I know my brother likes doesn't like his widow speak. So we're starting from the middle. And as you can see, his hair is kind of tricky right there. It's lighter on that side. So I'm not trying to push him back. I'm just trying to make sure that um, that it is straight and also, you know, crispy. Um, he I do use enhancements in his hair. So I just want to make sure that it is all evenly. So I start from the, the middle, work my way to the left, and then I eventually just connect it from the other side. If you guys have any questions, let me know. So we are going to be using the enhancements and i'm using this kiss express dye uh just make sure you, that you follow the same you know trace that you made with your liners uh, just don't try to go too um uneven or this and that try not to make it too dark um just make sure that you do follow your initial lineup because some people get messed up and they go somewhere else and it, it's un it gets uneven and yeah that's just horrible so just make sure that you follow your trace lineup and that's important and also just try to make it look kind of neat don't make it too dark too light just make it just perfectly man just like the uh you know the three bears you know i don't i don't that fairy tale bears the poor john if you guys know it then <laughs> yeah doing the detail work right here the cut is finally finished let me know what you guys think in the comment section below don't forget to like comment subscribe put the post notifications on again i love you guys you guys are truly the best if you guys have any questions let me know don't forget to follow me on my instagrams i'm out